Good morning everyone. <laughs> Look at this. This is this is amazing. We just woke up and the boat just arrived in front of this glacier and it makes always like boom boom because the ice on the water which is floating is hitting the boat and we are a little bit lucky with the weather because it's at least not raining this morning and there's a mystic fog over there on the ice it looks stunning and you can see here in the back actually how the boat drove through the ice exercise <laughs> this is real thing but it's not an emergency it's going on board so we got the life vests and now we are going to enter the little boats <laughs> which broke off from the glacier and actually uh, was floating to the beach and some are crystal clear you can look through them and some are more milky and unfortunately there's also some plastic already here I can't believe it uh, between the glacier ice and on the other side of the bay you can see the glaciers from the top they are melting and the water is coming down in these cascades so the guy from the expedition just told us when they came here 2003 the first time the glacier was actually coming all the way here uh, you can see here was the, the place where the ice broke off and then went into the sea so that's quite a big loss of glacier ice and the glacier which is on the right there was actually coming on on the right side around so that's all gone due to global warming the tracks of an animal called uemul you can see they are very rare it's the same animal that's in on the armories of the chile with the with the with the bird, so it's uh, nearly extinct because it's it's not afraid of humans. So that's a little bit of a problem for the animal because it gets caught and attacked by humans. you regularly hear the, the big sound of breaking ice it's really dramatic really impressive it's amazing the rock it's completely polished it's like glass it's like ice it's amazing it's done Super. by 30,000 years of Glacier movement. Crazy. So behind me you can see the Amelia Glacier. And we just heard a big bang behind me. So there's some ice probably breaking. And uh, there's another glacier there. 
and this one here is uh, a volcano and they have r realized that it's gaining activity so there are uh, scientists who have been staying here for a while to observe that volcano and uh, over there you can see the glacier I'm trying to find it over there that's the Amalia glacier and this one and that one are surrounding this volcano so now we are leaving Amalia glacier behind us and we are driving with the boat through the fjord here and inside of the fjord <laughs> there are a lot of icebergs and small ones small ones but you can hear, hear them sometimes bumping against the boat like this one right now you can feel it also in your feet and I go a little bit to the side so maybe you can see it how big they are you know 10 to 20 percent of the iceberg is only on top and 80 percent is under the water so here comes a bigger piece big piece of ice and you can see that there's even stones and mud on top of the ice. So this is a piece which the glacier was pushing forward. So we have arrived in the next fjord and the boat is anchoring here in this fjord and there's a lot of more ice and we are just anchoring in front of the Ebrujo glacier which is so much higher than the glacier we saw before and there's no wind at all it's a very pleasant temperature and we just learned that it's actually better that the sun is not completely out because otherwise the ice would not be so blue as it is now. Are you ready? Yeah, here we go. Okay, enjoy. So let's go on an excursion. So this glacier El Brujo is located in a sort of an amphitheater which is echoing the sound quite impressively so the most impressive thing here is is the sound and you can hear constantly this this brummeling sound of the of the glacier breaking and falling into the water and we have to be a little bit careful because we are quite low here so when the when big pieces fall into the sea it makes a big tidal wave like a small tsunami and we have to run up the hill and yeah, we are really lucky with, that we can go with this excursion boat here of course there are also like 50 other people behind us but still it gives the atmosphere to be in a private 
uh, expedition very close to this glacier where you cannot hike to or get to in a different way. You know what I'm going to have tonight when we are back on board. It's just obviously we're always thinking there's a big calf coming down. So tonight I'm going to have a gin tonic with this glacier ice. <laughs> That's thirty thousand year old ice. Yes, you can only have fear. <laughs> We are on a separate boat, which is actually a little boat. It's an icebreaker, which can go much closer to the shore. glaciers and out to the shore. And we go through these fjords, which are filled with very big icebergs. So we can go very closely actually to the place where the icebergs are carving. This is 30,000 year old ice from 12 years old whiskey. I would prefer 30,000 year old whiskey on 12 years old ice. <laughs> but they didn't get that. <laughs> Cheers everyone. Cheers. So this is actually very, very impressive here with the icebreaker going through the ice field. You can hear maybe how the ice is, is uh, hitting the boat. I have to hold on to the handle here. And we are going all the way towards to the glacier. And I have to, <laughs> it's raining a little bit. I have to clean the lens once in a while. The greenish or bluish color actually of the water comes from the sediments and from the minerals which is in the glacier ice. That's why it makes the water like yeah gray greenish. So we are back from our excursions. We had three glaciers today, four, five, six, maybe, I don't know, so many glaciers. It was very, very impressive. And now we are getting slowly ready because we have dinner very soon. It's uh, very interesting to, to be on the ship because there are so many different nationalities, as we told you before, and the people are really friendly. And we got already invited to Costa Rica from a very nice couple. And so thank you very much for watching this glacier episode of the way we saw it and of course the day number two on this cruise through Patagonia and the ice fields and keep on watching because we will make another episode of day three in Patagonia on the ship and the final day of this cruise thank you very much for all your comments take care see you soon